One Man's Family, winner of 46 national awards, a Carlton E. Morse creation. One Man's Family, now in its 26th year, is dedicated to the mothers and fathers of the younger generation and to their bewildering offspring. In 60 seconds, we'll hear Chapter 7, Book 129 of the Barber Family Saga. But first, hear this. There's a miserable cold working on you. Here's help. Every second someone takes it for the miseries of a cold. Million more takes promo quinine. Every second someone takes it for the miseries of a cold. Promo quinine. Yes, more people have taken more bromo quinine cold tablets for more complete relief. Even if you've got a virus cold, bromo quinine can help you feel well again fast. For bromo quinine really relieves stopped up nose, body pain, fever, headaches. Every one of those miserable symptoms. You can depend on bromoquinine brand cold tablets. Today, Lady on a Diet. At 10 o'clock on a cold January evening, Betty Barber, who is dieting just now, stands beside the open refrigerator in her kitchen, gazing longingly at a bottle of half and half. Mm. Temptation rears its beguiling head behind her, in an array of cereal boxes. But now, luckily, she is interrupted. Hi, ho, ho, ho. Hi, Aunt Betty. Oh, thank you. Hi. I brought Sharon's car home. What's the matter? I can't stand any sudden excitement. Well, sit down here. Oh, no. Well, let me stay here a minute and get my balance. What's wrong? Well, I'm on a diet that starts with a two-day fast. Close the door, will you? Sure. Two days fast. Good gosh. Why? You look perfect to me. Oh, that's sweet of you. Oh, really? You look just right, Aunt Betty. I gained four pounds over the holidays. Well, so did everybody else in the United States. I know. But I read an article that said the way people pass the point of no return is to gain a little every holiday and not take it right off. Here, you better sit down. Thanks. I guess I'd better. You do look kind of pale. No, I'll be fine in a minute. Holy cow. Where's Uncle Jack tonight? He had a date with a woman. Pardon? Business date with a woman. Oh. Miss Bindi Blassingame. She's a lecture agent. She wants to sign him up. So he'll be paid for the after dinner speeches. Oh, I feel better. Okay, I'll run along. Oh, don't hurry. Where'd you go tonight, thank you? Chinatown. To dinner? Business. I see. Cousin Consider was looking for you. Really? I don't believe it. Well, he asked where you were, and he finally took Claudia. Well, tell Karen thanks for the car. Thank you. I'd hate to think there was any friction between you and the best friend you ever had. No friction. Everybody's very polite. Well, good night. See you. Hey, here's Uncle Jack. Take it easy, Aunt Betty. Hiya. Brought Karen's car home. Thanks a lot. Oh, hello there, Pink. I hear you had a date with another woman. Who told you that? <laughs> Aunt Betty. She's right here in the kitchen, starving. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Good night, son. No, Jack. Well, what's he talking about? Oh, we were discussing diets. Here, let me take your coat. Oh, thanks. How is Miss Bimby blasting again? Well, knows the lecture business. I'll say that for her. Not in the living room. Kids are in bed and sound asleep. Are you feeling all right? Oh, sure. Why? You seem a little wobbly. No, I, I'm fine. Uh, let me hang your coat up. And then sit down and tell me all about it. Where did you have dinner? Good. Hey, Francis. See you, Kippy? I put them by your chair. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, boy. Good to get home. What did you order for dinner? Uh, filet mignon. It was sheer perfection. Filet mignon. Mmm. What for dessert? Uh, Napoleon. The pastry chef down there makes very good ones. Very creamy under a flaky crust. Oh, my, it sounds good. What did she have? Let me see. Oh, oh, oh yeah, grenadine of beef. Really? Mm-hmm. Grenadine of beef. Mm, Caesar salad and souffled potatoes. Is she and... trying to gain weight or what? Well, that's the funny part of it. Ever since she studied physical education, Bimby says she can eat whatever she wants and doesn't gain an ounce. What did she have for dessert? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, cheesecake. Oh, my. <laughs> she gave me a bite of it. It was superb. Well, don't you want to hear about the contract? Mm-hmm. 
Well, her office takes 10%, of course, but she says for the kind of talks I've been making for nothing, she can get me anywhere up to 200 a night. And if I get better known, the price will go up accordingly. Mm-hmm. Betty. Oh. Hey, hey, honey. Betty. Betty, wake up. Mm-hmm. Water. Let me get you some water. You almost fainted. Oh, not water, Jack. Make it a tall glass of skim milk. We'll return in just a moment to one man's family. Happy kind of tune, isn't it? And you know, happy tunes are as thick as, well, they're as thick as commercials on a late night movie every morning on the NBC Bandstand. Bandstand is the best way I know to spend a pleasant musical morning while you're catching up on the housework. Bert Parks MCs the show, Dorothy Olsen does the vocals, and NBC's own Stitch Henderson often lends his bearded presence. Guest bands and guest stars, too to set your fancy wandering with hit tunes of the present and the past. The music's all live, and your mornings will be lively, too. And Bandstand stays with you. Whether you're cleaning the house or taking a break, Bandstand is as close as your radio. Make Bandstand a morning habit Monday through Friday on NBC Radio. A few minutes later, with Betty lying on the Davenport, Jack anxiously dials a number at the phone on his desk. This is ridiculous. I feel perfectly all right, Jack. Huh? Oh, hello, Pink. Is Hank home, do you know? Oh, sure. He got in from the hospital about ten minutes ago. Well, tell him to grab his first aid kit and get over here. Yeah. Betty almost fainted. We'll be there right away. Crackpot diet. Which one is this? Hmm? Lettuce leaves or what? This is the character test diet, and you're not going to talk me out of it. Which? I got it from the mother at the PTA. She used to weigh 180, and now she's down to 164. You fast for two days to start with. Fast? Well, for only two days, Jack. In biblical times, they used to go 40. And look at Mahatma Gandhi. He'd go weeks at a time. And the first two days are the hardest. That's to shrink your stomach and test your character, and if you can get through 48 hours, you build up your self-esteem. And then you know you can do it. It's all mental. Well, in, Jake. I'll get the door. Well, let's see the patient. You didn't both have to come. Hey, she looks better. Well, she had a glass of skim milk. Oh, let me have a look at you, Aunt Betty. This is perfectly silly. I just felt a little wobbly for a second. Huh. No food for two days. Well, pulse is okay. Nobody's going to talk me out of this, Hank. It's the only sensible diet I ever heard of. You only go hungry for two days instead of the rest of your life. <laughs> Where was this diet published? It wasn't. One of the girls at the PTA had it typed at was worked out by a Welsh doctor in India. <laughs> well, Uncle Jack, a couple of days fast never hurt anybody. As a matter of fact, animals do it without being told. Well, let's see if she can stand up. I'll try it. Hey, give me your hand, Aunt Betty. I'm perfectly comfortable. I want to see her stand up. She swayed like a willow in the wind. Well, I did a big washing in our new automatic washer. That's why. Come on. Now find out while the boys are here. I'll tell you what I'd rather do. What? Remember how you used to make a cradle with your hands when you were kids? Oh, you aren't that weak. No, of course not, Jack. But they're here, and they want to do something. So I haven't been carried anywhere for years and years. <laughs> That's also good for a woman's self-esteem to find out whether it's possible for somebody to help her. Oh. <laughs> like this thing, you remember? Uh, wrist? Mm-hmm. Wrist? Uh, oh, yeah. Turn around, Aunt Betty. There you go. There. <laughs> This is wonderful. Can you find the stairs? Yeah, make it easy. I'll lead the way. Oh, this is fun. Oh. Tomorrow I get a half a grapefruit and a slice of Melba toast and a cup of Cambridge tea, and I'll feel stronger. More of the barbers in just a moment. Alice, who is it helps now with your cleaning? I need somebody. Thought you did your own work. I always have, but lately I've had a nagging backache with sleepless nights and feel tired out. I know what discomfort backache can be. Better do something about it. But what? Try Dome Pills. Good advice. That's Dome Pills, an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headaches, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains, may come on with overexertion, emotional upset, or everyday stress and strain. Stone's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. 
So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Dones Pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Dones Pills today to save money by Dones Big Economy Size. In the big double bed in the master bedroom, Betty speaks into the darkness. Jack, tell me, besides being tiny, is Miss Blossom getting physically attractive? No, she's really very pretty. Yeah. But her voice bothers me. Why? Oh, I don't know. After a while, it got on my nerves. Really? Well, you could stand three hours with her, I don't know. Well, this is the last time. From here on, we'll handle all the details by phone. Oh, is that so? Oh, I see. Well, that's much more convenient. Hey, you see the thinner, Betty. You actually do. <laughs> Stop it. I don't want you too skinny. <laughs> yeah, right? cut it out. <sighs> Jack. What? There's a new package of cornflakes downstairs. Would you fix me a big bowl with two spoons of sugar and enough half and half so they aren't too dry? I go myself, but I can't trust myself in the kitchen. Oh, good for you. Now that's sensible. Jack, what's your voice like? Uh, how would you describe it? Oh, I guess some people would call it sexy. Excuse me, I'll be right back. One Man's Family, which comes to you Monday through Friday, is written by Harlan Ware and directed by Carlton E. Morse. This program has been selected by our armed forces overseas through the worldwide facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. In Chapter 8, Book 129, Claudia Encounters Competition. Frank Martin speaking. One Man's Family, winner of 46 national awards, now in its 26th year, is a Carlton E. Morse production and comes to you from California. Madeline Carroll stars next in the affairs of Dr. Gentry as our two hours of drama in the afternoon continues over most of these stations. <laughs>